Right, so we continue looking at the damage caused to industry as well. The chief executive of the Road Freight Association says the collapse of the supply of all goods will be the immediate result of the lootings in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng. Gavin Kelly says the short-term losses already run into billions of rands, with the impact, long-term impact yet to be fully realised. He was uh, speaking on this, uh, the destruction of trucks, uh, goods, which spread to the wholesale and retail sectors, as you've just seen, and distribution centers in these areas. Areas. Uh, Kelly joins us now. A very good evening to you, and thank you so much for speaking to us. Perhaps just to back up a bit and to remind some of the viewers, you say what started out as sporadic incidents on one or two routes has now spread to the total supply chain, affecting the transport legs as well as destinations and uh, originations. Are you able to give us a sense of how the total supply chain, including the routes, is now impacted? Good evening, Chapiso, and, and all the viewers. Yeah, when I penned that, uh, we were a couple of days into it. So what happened originally was that we saw the attacks on the N3 and the N2 in KwaZulu-Natal. Of course, we saw all those scenes at Moy River where trucks were, were torched as they were waiting or resting to get through the toll gate. And that's really where it had all been focused. And by the end of the weekend, Monday this week, we were looking at about 35 trucks that had been torched. Then that action moved into Durban, Peter Maritzburg, some outlying cities. We saw it happening around Eshawe, Matuba Tuba, uh, Richards Bay. And what had happened there was that in the beginning, they started to hit the distribution centers. And the distribution centers are key when it comes to getting goods out to the retailers and the wholesalers and obviously out into the regional shops. So what happens is a lot of goods come down these major routes and are then put into the distribution centers. So the large trucks bring it there. And then from the distribution centers, the smaller trucks then take it out to the shops that you and I go to every day, mm -hmm. whether it's in a town or it's out in, in the country or it's out uh, a little spaza shop or something like that. So what has happened is that where the stock is kept and where it is sent to these shops, they have been looted, they have been burnt down. So it's not going to be an easy task of now, tomorrow, cleaning up all the ashes, literally, and then just bringing in uh, goods into these warehouses. And of course, as you've seen on many, many platforms, a lot of the retailers themselves have been looted and burnt. So even should the distribution centers get goods in, they've got nowhere to deliver them to. So what happened over the last the last three days was that not only were the routes being attacked, <coughs> excuse me, not only were the routes being attacked, but so were the destination and origination points. Mm. So of course, road freight logistics was now stuck where it was so, going to and coming from and the route was being attacked. So Mr. Kelly, if you could just also expand a little on the capital costs and the loss of income. I know it's too early to tell, but just a ballpark figure, including, I know it is also per cap category in terms of the type of vehicle. Are you get able to give us a sense? Well, we, you know, yes, we can give you a sense and we can give you sort of very much global figures. We know that that roughly about 45 trucks have been, have been destroyed. Uh, let's say it's 40 trucks at, at 5 million a pop. So five times four is 200 million. So that's just the trucks and the goods and the equipment of those trucks. It's continuing and there, there's still a lot of figures coming in and there have been a lot smaller trucks and, and, and regional delivery vehicles. We've seen the destruction to the warehouses. We know now that easily, we're looking easily at, at a good 20 billion rand that has been destroyed in terms of what you've seen from KZN through up to Gauteng. This is a massive amount of asset and capital that has been destroyed. And then, of course, there is going to be the impact into the economy for those who are going to lose their jobs. We've seen scenes of transporters having lost everything, all of their vehicles. And, and that might only have been two vehicles or one vehicle or could have been five vehicles. And those employees are now going to sit on the poverty line because they will probably lose their jobs mm -hmm. unless government can help us to help them to regrow their businesses, to regrow that dream, 
and to get that money back into the communities. Mr. Kelly, road freight is often vulnerable in situations of a conflict, irrespective of what the source is. Talk to me about the insurance costs. Have you seen an exponential rise? And does that mean you're also going to face another increase in insurance? And I'd imagine insecurity as well. Yeah. Road freight has been targeted over the last couple of years for a number of reasons, and many of those reasons have had nothing to do with road freight. There have been one or two issues around. But obviously, the risk taken by road freight has started to climb, and, and insurance in terms of that has looked at that risk and said, well, this is becoming riskier and riskier. I know that sounds a bit Irish, riskier and riskier. So therefore, your insurance premiums are going to increase, and they have increased. And some people take the business decision whether they're going to uh, insure their vehicles or not. And that does have an impact. It has an impact on the cost per kilometer that is charged to move goods. It has an impact eventually on the consumer's pocket. So that increase is definitely we're going to see coming through over the next short term. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, as you said, uh, the sad thing is that the consu consumers are going to bear the brunt of those costs. And that there, uh, speaking to us, is Road Freight uh, Chief Executive uh, Gavin Kelly.